Okay, folks, welcome to this week's Five Property Market uh, update um, from the 18th of December to the 24th, uh, which was yesterday. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, hopefully, you got a chance to have a great family day and you got lots of things from Santa um, as well. Uh, probably the best, anybody watch the television, what's your favourite film? For me, it's got to be A Wonderful Life and possibly Great Escape and then possibly Back to the Future. That's probably my three, top three for today, um, which was the best films. Anyway, let's move on. If you saw my part run this morning, actually, uh, now is the time to make a New Year's resolution. Maybe get that Couch to 5K going, get in touch with Park Run St Andrews, because uh, they do run a Couch to 5K, and Leading Las Vegas uh, do as well. They'll probably be doing a Couch to 5K as well. So if running is your thing, good for your mental health, good for your overall health as well, actually. Anyway, let's talk about the update. Uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, for today uh, and the coming week, uh, let's look at the numbers. We're going to be talking about what's coming to the market as well. There's actually quite a lot come on in the last week, and there will be properties coming on next week as well. Um, you're actually <laughs> a lot of people are actually quite surprised. But Boxing Day bounces tomorrow, and the website's go ballistic. Uh, people start inquiring and they start looking and uh, they start searching for property again. And uh, because now Christmas is over, let's get on with it into the new year. Um, also, I was looking at the numbers and the analytics on our website real time today, and there was people actually searching for property today as well. Uh, most people actually come through social media channels um, to anybody's website. So there's a big, big market for us now in terms of where we are, uh, exactly like we are right now. Okay, let's look at the numbers for last week, right across the five market. Quite interesting, uh, on the face of it, you immediately see there it's uh, 71 versus 53. But what we need to take into account as well is actually in these instructed uh, ones, there's actually 22 properties which are actually builders. In other words, Bellway is actually listed 15 this week in different areas. And also, um, I think another one, Keep Moat Homes, uh, they've listed um, seven as well. So uh, you tend to find new builds actually, the list in the instructed column, but they don't actually put sold on them. So you, it, so it, it kind of skews the figures. So that's why I'd like to say that, you know, if you take them out, it's 49 versus 53, which again suggests that supply is outstripping demand, uh, almost like for like though, um, which is actually a nice stable market. So let's look and I'll tell you where the numbers are actually stripped out. So in the Cooper area last week, uh, uh, zero properties were actually listed, but three properties sold. If you had listed your property last week, possibly it might have been sold by now. Uh, and you might have had a price that you were actually looking for. East Nuke, um, they, they've got it straight away, what they need to do. So seven properties have actually come on the East Nuke market last week, and four properties actually went under offer and sold. St Andrews, six came on, one sold. Leave Mouth, one came on, two sold. Um, that's not a surprise, because that tends to be a reflection of the estate agents and the fact that they don't want to do anything at Christmas. So therefore, they push everything into New Year. And as a result, um, the people are actually generally, generally got their properties on the market right now in the Leave Mouth area, have an opportunity to sell between Christmas and New Year. Um, so there's a golden opportunity. We've been we've been beating this drum all the time uh, recently about the Boxing Day bounce and what happens tomorrow and the amount of activity that happens as well. Uh, Dunfermline, uh, 27 versus 25. Now, interestingly enough, uh, 10 of these were actually Bellway in there. So it's actually um, 17 versus 25. So demand in Dunfermline is outstripping supply because the new builds are actually coming into here, which is the extra 10 on top of there. So it's really 17 versus 25 at core level. So that's where we, it's like seasonally adjusting the figures, exactly what they do for inflation, exactly what they do for statistics in terms of the government and how they do it. Um, so this is what we're doing, uh, giving you a rough idea about where this is. Uh, Glenrothes, 20 versus three. Now in the Glenrothes area, actually, um, seven, were Keepmo and actually five were Bellway. So that means Glenrothes is actually really eight, if you take that into account, the 12 out of there, uh, versus three. So, you know, that's no, that's okay. Uh, Glenrothes again gets it. You know, they're putting their houses on the market for, to take advantage of the Boxing Day bounce. Um, and you've got Kirkcaldy 10 versus 15, which demand outstripping supply. See how that goes. Um, so golden opportunities the next week coming for people that are on the market right now. Now, let's talk about some of the properties um, have actually come to market. Quickly, I'll just talk about the landlord's tip. If you are a landlord um, um, and you are, or you're an investor, you're getting the property market for the first time. Richard and I did a show yesterday, actually, about Christmas landlord tips, winter protection, 
and planning for the future as a landlord or investor of your portfolio. Um, now, this is all about over, you know, where to look and how to get the best returns. Um, so we talked about uh, your tax return. It's coming up. So you need to get your tax return, get that organised. I actually talked about some great tax advantage you can take advantage of right now. Uh, before your tax return finishes, also before your year end finishes as well. Most people's year ends for investors or landlords finishes on the 31st of March. I've actually talked about exactly what you should be looking for and what you should be doing and planning and forecasting to alleviate your tax position this year and possibly push it on to next year so it pushes it down the road. Um, um, but it actually is better for your cash flow. Um, we also talked about things like, um, you know, keep in touch with your tenants, check who's home for the holidays. That's another one as well. A lot of landlords and investors and letting agents don't realise that they should realize, they should actually be notifying their tenants um, if they're going away for the holiday season for the Christmas New Year period. They need to tell the letting agent and the landlord because it could invalidate their insurance. So it's quite an important one. If you've not got anybody in that house right now, potentially your your insurance is actually void if they are away somewhere for the next two weeks. So it needs to be checked to keep your insurance in, 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 in play. Um, also, we talked about um, just general information about um, how to complete your uh, Christmas checkup, what you should be looking for, how to test things, the boilers and leaks, and, uh, and um, make sure everything's all right. And then also plan for peace and prosperity for long-term investment and good capital growth and return over time. Uh, the next one we did, uh, now, the link to that show is actually in this post. Um, it is, um, you can just click on the link, you've got the podcast, or you can go to the show as well that we ran with Richard and I, or you can read that as well. Anyway, let's talk about what's coming to market. Most important thing. Most people want to know that because they're planning for the future. Okay, um, so coming soon, uh, Scooney Crescent and Leaving. Yep. I've been told this is an absolute beauty. Schooney Crescent and Leaving. Now, this is one of the most desirable areas in Leaving Schooney Crescent, um, especially because it's a no-through road, because it's a crescent, uh, and it's off the beaten track as well. Um, and, it, and it's near the golf courses, and it's, you know, pretty easy to get to the um, beach as well, and just a, a, a short walk to the beach, um, and all across the Silverburn as well. So it's ideal. Um, it's also quite easy access to the high street. And so this is a three-bedroom semi-detached house that's actually going to be coming on this Schooney Crescent area of Leaving. If you're interested in that type of house, then you contact us now. Just message us direct. Tell us that you're interested in that house. We'll put you on the list um, of people to notify when we actually get more details, and you'll be the first one of the first people to know. Um, Station Road in St. Monans, a three-bedroom ground floor apartment. It'll be coming on at West 4th Street in Cellardyke, a four-bedroom terrace townhouse, converted net loft, and a double garage with potential to convert to a holiday home. Now, I'll put that on just on, think, Friday or Thursday. Um, so what? go back on our social media feeds and actually see that pre-portal launch. But be quick with that one, because it's got a lot of potential. It could be a really good earner for somebody that maybe wants to use the upper um, the upper flat, because the lower could be a studio apartment or, or a self-contained flat that can actually be rented. And then you could have the net loft rented, and then you could have potentially the garage converted to be rented as well. And you could earn an income while you actually stay upstairs in these properties. So it has great potential. Um, also has great potential as well for um, if you've got somebody that needs to have one level living, um, and then you could stay upstairs. So if you've got an elderly parent or that, and you want to move in with them and look after them, uh, they could live on the downstairs at, um, with the kitchen, the living room and the bedroom and the, the shower room off the back. And uh, you could live upstairs and still have the net loft and the garage at the back. Um, so that's West 4th Street, West 4th Street, West 4th Street in Silver Dyke. Uh, Main Street in East Williams, two bedroom, two bedroom ground floor apartments coming to market. Provost Park in Achtermachte. That's a three bedroom semi-detached Hen's Teeth Bungalow. Um, so three bedroom, seven detached bungalow in Provost Park and Uchter Murty coming to market as well. Quickly, just talk about one of them that got over the line this week. This is quite an interesting story in here. This is um, Tollbooth Wind in Cellar Dyke. Now, this is actually something that happened with the existing buyer, which is what's happening right now with mortgages and stuff like that. Some of the buyers are actually having to pull back now and pull out because their, the base rates have gone up and they can no longer afford it based on their um, their um, income. So uh, this person pulled out and we, again, we sold this property within the four week period as a two bedroom uh, terrace villa. Uh, the new owner was very much delighted to have a seaside living 
and that was listed over 300,000. So that's a way again. So it just shows you, um, even though it falls through, you'll get somebody else that will be in the pipeline. So never despair if your property sale falls through. You'll be okay because someone else will come along at some point in time. 20 people almost, on average, make a decision every single day in Fife to buy and sell a property. So if it doesn't happen today, there's another 20 people coming on the next day, another 20 people coming on the next day, another 20 people coming on the next day, and that's how it goes. There's roughly about 6,500 properties sold in Fife every single year. And that actually takes me on to this uh, show that we did uh, during the midweek show. What will happen to the Fife property market in 2023? Well, this is a fantastic show that Perry and I did, uh, and we talked about how the economic instability with the Liz Truss 44-day um, um, premiership and, uh, caused political turmoil and also problems in the market, and what we believe will happen next year based on the information that we've been told. Now, I've also I've already written an update for the Courier as well, but this is our belts and braces, full detailed assessment, uh, assessment of what I believe, and Perry believes as well, it will happen to the five property market in 2023. Um, and it's actually live right now on our social media channels. It's on YouTube, it's on Instagram, it's on TikTok, it's on um, um, Twitter as well. So it's on all these channels all the way throughout. So you can listen to that. You can also see it in the podcast on Anchor. Um, so if you go to Anchor Podcasts um, or you go to Spotify Podcasts and you can just type in Five Properties Channel and you'll get it there. Uh, YouTube is Five Properties TV. Uh, you'll get us on there uh, and you can see that show as well. But it's a really interesting show. Uh, it's a great article as well um, and also a fantastic podcast. And it's on the link on this post. So click on it and you can actually watch and be updated about what's going to happen to the property market in 2023. I'm sure you'll be interested to know, especially if you're buying or selling. You will want to know if you should buy now. I know the answer to that, by the way. Uh, you will also want to know if you sell now, and I know the answer to that as well. And it's in that show, what will happen to the five property market in 2023. And it's on this post in the link. So click on that. Read the article. It's, if you can't do anything else, just read the article. Keep yourself informed. Understand what's going on. Do not panic. Opportunity lies when everybody else panics round about you. That's where the opportunity lies. So get yourself informed, get the facts, and then make decisions based on that. So you know what to do next. Right, what's got over the line? This tells us straight away um, what uh, properties are actually selling for right now. So let me talk to you about this. Over the line. Um, the reason I talked to you about this is because you get a really good idea about what, what properties went for in the last um, few weeks um, since they were actually under offer. And finally, we've handed over the keys. They're in before Christmas, done and dusted. We can now tell you what they went for. So King David Street in St. Monans was a two-bedroom ground floor apartment. It actually sold in two weeks for 9% over the home report value and went for £135,000. Uh, this was a two-bedroom ground floor apartment in King David Street in St. Monans. Two other people must out on this property, so it is a really good activity for these types of properties, around about the 135,000 mark. So if you've got a two-bedroom ground floor apartment, and you're thinking, wow, 135,000, really? I never thought I could get that for mine. Uh, then you need to contact us. We can have a chat with you. Uh, Shore Street in Anstruther was a two-bedroom upper apartment. Great potential for holiday home. It also had um, I. Uh, a garden, a shared garden at the back, which is ideal for right on the shorefront. Beautiful views over the harbour. This sold for 7% over the home report value. It went for £281,000. And that was a two-bedroom upper apartment on two levels with a dining kitchen as well. And that was in uh, that was on Shore Street and uh, answer that um, just for the chemist, actually. So that was the upper one. Uh, great potential to actually convert upstairs anyway with the appropriate plan permission. Um, at night, the next one, uh, so that went for 281,000. Next one was Bonnie Gate and Cooper, four bedroom upper apartment. It sold for the home report value 140,000. So, see how some of the properties are actually going for home report value now, or just a, a small amount over. Um, Mid Street and Kettle Bridge, four bedroom cottage, it sold in one week for five percent over the home report value at 368,000 pounds. Uh, one other person missed out. So, if you've got a property at Mid Street and Kettle Bridge. And it's a four-bedroom cottage or maybe a three-bedroom cottage. Um, we've got people that might be interested in that. Uh, Jim Anderson Place, 
final over the line in St Andrews. Uh, that went pretty quick. It sold in a week for 15% over the home report value. St Andrews is still extremely popular at the lower price points. It sold for £280,000, £40,000 more than home report value at Jamie Anderson Place in St Andrews. Two-bedroom, semi-detached house. Perfect one. Uh, two other people missed out on that property. So St Andrews at that price point, Jamie Anderson Place, uh, the Kilrymont Place area, um, Schooney Hill Road area, uh, they're all extremely popular areas for buying. If you've got a property there, you're thinking about selling, contact us today. Even though you're not selling, at least you're kept informed about what the price is, what you can do, and what your options are. Doing nothing keeps you exactly where you are right now. So do something. That's the most important thing. And that's it. Uh, that's the ones over, over the line uh, for this uh, this week um, and completed itself. Um, finally, I just want to talk about the Wealth Creation Show. I'm going to be doing the Wealth Creation Show for Richard, with Richard tomorrow live. Now, this is coming to an end. I actually promised to do the Wealth Creation Show for a whole year, every single week on a Monday. So we will be bringing this more than likely to an end, unless people want it to continue. Uh, we are at episode 51, so 51 weeks I've been doing this. Uh, and it's Diary of a Property Investor. It's how I made my first million. We're talking about that. What I'm going to be talking about tomorrow is uh, the next five properties. So I'm now talking about my properties and the lessons I've learned on each property. Um, now, what I know about these properties off the top of my head right now is by the um, within an eight-year period, uh, these properties actually increased in value by 250% in an eight-year period. I will be telling people how to do that. Um, I, some of them actually have got infinite returns on them as well, which means I do not have any money on them and I still make money out of them today. And that's what I'll be talking about tomorrow as well. So what do you get in the bank? 2%. What do I get? Infinite returns. That seems a good deal. So that's what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow. My next five properties, I might be talking about the next six or seven, depending on how the conversation goes. But if you want to join me tomorrow, we're going to be live at 12 o'clock tomorrow on um, the regular channels, which will be my public profile, my personal profile, my two YouTube channels, which is my personal YouTube, the Five Properties YouTube channel. And we'll also be on Instagram uh, live. We'll also be on TikTok live as well. And then we'll also be on Twitter live as well. So if you want to join us tomorrow for the Wealth Creation Show, I'll be talking about my journey, the lessons I've learned in property investment, investment overall, wealth creation. Um, and uh, and that'll be at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, and again, if you've not seen the episodes from before, the playlist is in here to our YouTube channel, which actually shows you all the episodes from before. All the the other five episodes of the diary of a property investor, which was my journey from the very beginning and how I ended up where I was in terms of homeless and unemployed in my early 20s and then suddenly retired um, at 38 year old. How is that possible? Anybody can do it, by the way. Um, you've just got to believe you can do it. That's the most important thing. And I've actually shown you in every single episode the step by step of how that's actually happened. And you can still do this exact same thing today, no matter. And, and I'll hear people out there saying to themselves right now, it's like, oh, well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just too old now. Eh, sorry, that's no excuse anymore um, because you're not too old because I managed to do it in about probably eight or nine years um, from a standing start. So you can't be too old because even if you're 50, you'll be 60 by the time you're there. Um, and you could probably do it a lot faster now because um, I've, I've, formulate the whole system and systematize the whole thing so everybody understands how to fast track it quicker. Uh, sometimes the only thing that gets in your road is you. Sometimes you just have to do the thing that you're meant to do rather than actually avoid it. The greatest thing I was, was once told was the greatest and the worst thing is your future is in your hands. And the worst thing, your future is in your hands. Depends how you look at it. Glasses half full, glasses are half empty. It's entirely up to yourself. So I'll see everybody at the Wealth Creation Show tomorrow at 12 o'clock if you want to join us, uh, Richard and I. And, uh, and, and until next time, have a fantastic day for the rest of the night. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.